Alright, so it's a new week and we are back. This is Social Media Trends live on VN TV, the powers of entertainment. I'm super excited today because, well, I'll tell you the reason later on. My name is Kevin FNK and we are accessible on www.vnationtv.com. Follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because there you can get to repost of all the exciting programs we have by your VN TV, the powers of entertainment. So a lot happened over the weekend. I'm just going to be showing to you some highlights. Now, one of the trending stories social media right now is the fact that uh, one of Ghana's finest actresses or actor, uh, Lydia Fosun, I mean we all know that Lydia Fosun is one of the outspoken actress uh, and, and celebrity we have right here in Ghana. Now she's come out to uh, give her own concern in regards to the Namwan men's gold saga. Now she is saying that Namwan is currently chilling out somewhere else outside Ghana. So those people who have invested their money, who is reportedly uh, not going to get it back, they should just forget about the money. So uh, Namwan is chilling, drinking pina colada. colada. Forget your money, Lydia Forsen said. Now I don't know why she's saying this, but I mean she's one of those people who uh, has made it a priority to be outspoken. I, th I think she's actually telling herself couple of times as a feminist that is someone who is really 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 outspoken so Ghanaian actress cool movie producer Lydia Fosun has announced to all men's gold uh, men's golders uh, to set the case about their invested uh, men's good capital at their back as Nam one is never going to uh, pay anybody well, I don't know why she's saying this. I don't know if she has a personal relationship with Namwan and Namwan has personally told her that she, he's not paying anybody because if Namwan hasn't done that, I don't think she has a right to do that because some, a lot of people are hungry. A lot of people are angry. Got into the point where they actually want to bend down the building of men's gold and all that. Now, in a tweet on a Twitter handle, Lydia Fosin claims that the CEO of men's gold, Namwan, is somewhere else enjoying himself, chilling and drinking uh, Pona Colada. I don't know why she's saying that, as I made mention earlier on, but at the end of the day, this is coming from Lydia Fosin. I'm going to be reading to you her exact tweet as she posts, This guy is chilling somewhere, drinking Pina Coladas. He won't, he won't face trial. You won't get your money either. You all got played. Mm. So that is a strong word coming from uh, Lydia Fosun. She should rather be uh, encouraging these people, asking them to be calm because the government are finding, uh, you know, putting the case under control. But no, she's saying to them that he ain't going to pay you. So you just put your stuff together and forget about your money. Well, I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing that. We'll bring you the details of this particular number one story as it proceeds. But when you log on to our social media handles, you get more detailed stories about all this. Now, away from that, um, let's move into Nigeria where uh, XBB Ninja reality star Ifunanda is saying that this year, 2019, she has a resolution. And one of the resolutions is the fact that no kissing, baby. No touching, baby. So she's saying that she's not going to be kissing or having sex in the year 2019. Wow. Well, that is a strong thing to do, actually. I mean, from, from her, because, well, that means she doesn't have a boyfriend. Because if she has a boyfriend, I don't think the boyfriend will even wait for one man to say no sex or no kissing, no romance. But if Unanda, in a, in a latest interview, she's saying that um, she wants to pay attention to her career. She wants to aim higher this year. And the only way she can achieve that is to stay away from all this moral act like kissing, sexing, and romancing and all that. So she said, I had a great time. Uh, she, so in a, in a, in a, during the interview, she said, aside going my personal and corporate brand, Miss Ifunanda told the media that she's planning to start up a no intimacy challenge. So it's a challenge to herself. Well, I don't know which she's actually having a challenge with, uh, intimacy challenge. That this means there would be no form of intimacy in 2019, not even kissing. Her exact words is, I need to stay focused to be, to be all I can be this year. So help me God, she prayed. Now, she thinks that uh, she likes a man who gets, uh, you know, she also gives the details of the type of man she's looking for. Now, if you're looking for... A, a specific category of man and you're saying that in the year 2019 you ain't going to be having any kissing or romancing sweetie mm, this is africa you just have to reconsider your resolution but that is coming from me for now that she's saying this year no kissing baby no touching baby and of course no sex we're going to see how that works for her in the coming days now away from that story let's talk a bit about speed Dalentine, who reviews how dj Kupi lost the golden chance of dating him as he dumps her for Tiwa Savage. Now we know this guy is one of those people who 
is outspoken. He comes out and just say everything is like now. He's saying that uh, for for reasons best known to himself, uh, uh, DJ Copy has lost the, the chance to having him as a lover because right now he's so much interested in Tiwa Savage. Now uh, I don't know in a, in a comic tweet uh, not too long he said he, he posted at Tiwa Savage, you need to date me before 2030 because we are not there for long. I will love you and your son. That's my word. But that's be that better wrinkles take over your face if i can't have it now i don't want it later suru larry boy will be okay now after i posted that post uh, about uh, tiwa savage or uh, talking to tiwa savage uh mi abaga yes the rapper and uh, african uh, yeah rapper number one yeah he also uh, tweeted under there he says uh, what about kupi you know uh, uh, spidalentin is one of those who has been ranting on social media about his supposed dream relationship or you know uh, a romance uh, <laughs> journey with uh, dj copy but so that is why mi is asking him what about dj copy any response i say that mi she play expensive play too much she make my heart skip a bit about a month or so ago i did not like that joke so i moved on mm -hmm. So because uh, DJ Kupi has played with his heart, made his heart skip a bit, like a month or two ago, he's, he doesn't like that, so he has moved on. So Spidality, we show the very best on that particular one. Away from Spidality, let's talk a bit about Harry Song, who we all know that Harry Song is not so much in a good term with uh, his previous record label. But exciting news this weekend is the fact that it seems the two, uh, that is the, the previous record label and uh, uh, Harry Song had this, you know, a reunion together, not to settle stuff, but just to have a time to actually be together as a, as a, as a team that they, were, they used to. So Harry Song, uh, after that meeting, he posted saying, never bite the finger that feeds you harry song acknowledged kc and e-money's impact on his career mind you, a couple of um, months ago last day to be precise it was announced that harry song is no longer with uh, uh the, the 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 music record label which is being run by a kc and e-money but he's saying that uh never buy the finger that feeds you no matter what has happened between these two parties he's saying that they are still cool friends and he he, he, he tweeted um uh, he gave out a post with a picture of himself, Harry Song, e Money, and Casey. He said, I had a great time at my listening party yesterday, which is over the weekend, and it gave me time to reflect as I watched my young bro, Skibi, perform his hit song, Sensima. Now, making peace with yourself begins with your ability to face your truth. That is a strong word. Now, he says, my journey will never be complete without KC and Imani. You were part of the vessel that God used to change my story. I appreciate you both. I was hurt and reacted at the time, but regardless of what happened, I recognize the impact you made in my life never bite the finger that fed you my people let love lead so he's saying to them that whatever happened what transpired between them uh, it was it's out of his anger he reacted but at the end of the day he's acknowledged the fact that casey and e money played a vital role in his story of course in the Irish song we are all seeing today and he's saying to them all he wished them all the very best and uh, most importantly never bite the finger that feeds you always learn to be appreciative always learn to appreciate those that are around you and everything that God has given to you. Now, away from that, let's move to something international, but Ghana, Ghanaian international. Yes, remember that a couple of uh, months, a couple of weeks ago, in December to be precise, lots of Hollywood black uh, uh, actors came to Ghana for a festival. Now, one of such actor is. Uh, uh martial actor uh, jay white who came to ghana and he was given a title as a chief in one of the uh, communities here in ghana now after receiving that title and he made a post of it tons of people have been backlashing him some are most of most of them coming from america i think yeah they are saying that uh, uh these guys are actually you know you know uh, celebrating slavery giving all lots of tons of negative vibes and all that and uh jay jay white went on to to give his reasons why he believed that the black community is still sticking to that black community because he said uh growing up for him wasn't easy because as a black um, american he was taught that uh, they were taught that the whites the whites were more superior to them they were they, they lived a life to where they had to be under the white but at this level in their life they feel that uh, the black community should rather live in peace and harmony rather than you know backlashing each other during about he says why is there always black black uh, blacklash from um but why is there always backlash from our own black community whenever we have pilgrimage uh, our homeland so 
it seems that whenever the African Americans visit Africa, the the blacks in America tend to backlash them, saying that they are going back to their roots to celebrate slavery. But you know what? I can boldly say we are actually living freely more than you guys over there. Yes, we. I mean, there is no slavery no more in Africa, even in America, where there seems to be more civilization. There is still slavery. So where he's saying that the black community should rather embrace their own and stop, you know, all the backlash and all that. So he came to Ghana and he was award. He was given. Uh, he was installed as a chief and he's currently a chief. Yeah. So yes, this guy is a chief. I'm like African American. Well. Well, wish him all the very best on that particular one. And that's all we have for you on today's social media trend. I cannot let you go without uh, informing you the main reason I'm super excited today. Today is my birthday. Yes, I turn a year younger today. Not older because I'm definitely not growing old. A year younger today by God's grace. So I want to say thank you to God Almighty and everyone, most especially to you our fan here on VNTV who has been supporting us for the past couple of years now, watching all my social news uh, updates and of course throwing in your comments and suggestions, uh, your opinions and thoughts about how I carry out my presentation. I want to say a very big thank you to you all and of course a very big thank you to the entire team of uh, V Nation TV, most especially my boss Mr. Vicente Toby. I love each and every one of you. It's my birthday and I'm celebrating my birthday today. Once again, my name is Kevin FNK. My outfit is uh, done by I am Ice Clothing. Ice Clothing did this a beautiful shirt for me it has this thing thing. i don't know how this works but it looks good on me if you want something just contact ice clothing on his facebook and of course on his instagram once again my name is kia follow us on our various social media handles and let's get interactive enjoy your week